Hey guys, welcome back to Joe Bob's Best here at Tackle Tuesday. Figured I'd do something, uh, at least try to get a video out once a week and have it be short and fresh and just talk about something that I've been doing. Um, this week we're talking about the Silky Jig Trailer from Clam. But uh, this is a new bait that uh, it's been around a few years, new to me I should say. I just started using it this last uh, weekend up ice fishing. And uh, I'm gonna show you just a couple different ways that uh, I've been rigging it up here. We've got just a tungsten jig head and that Silky on there, no minnow, no waxy, nothing else was needed to hammer those crappies this weekend. It was fantastic. This is actually the first one that I put on. I got two four packs here. This is the only one that I used. Didn't lose it once, stays on there rock solid. That little silicone bead really holds that on there great. And it doesn't look like much, but once you get that thing in the water, especially after it's been in the water for 10, 30 seconds so, it's gonna soak up some of that water. It's gonna kind of fan out a lot and it's gonna give this crazy, crazy action that I've really never seen in any other kind of bait. So um, it's super, super cool. I got two different colors here. I just got white and then I've got kind of a lighter, um, more natural. It's got a bunch of different kind of colors in there. And these were both different prices. One was $4, the other one was $5. Now there's four baits in each pack. Like I said, these seem to last forever. Um, I could probably go out fish a whole nother weekend with this one, maybe have to change it at some point, maybe not. Um, they really just do seem to last really, really well, which is awesome. And um, they catch fish, big sunfish we were catching this weekend, big crappies we were catching. Um, I didn't catch anything else besides those on there. Uh, the other guys were using minnows and whatnot and catching some perch and some pike and stuff as well. But uh, yeah, this was kind of it. And I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more on how we can rig this, how you can use it in a couple different situations and not just you know try it for five minutes and if it's not catching fish, move on to something else. Maybe it's just the way that it's presented. And this bait is super versatile in that sense. You can change it up a lot of different ways and have a lot of different presentations with just this little tiny thing. So let's take a look. All right, so as I said, I'll give you kind of a background there. There is the silky. All right, it doesn't look like much. It really just feels, looks like little strings, ends of a shoelace, you know, torn uh, fabric, whatever. But there's this little tiny bead on there. I'm not going to get too close because this isn't going to look that great. But uh, a little tungsten jig, kind of copper, copper color, and um, that white silky. When this got out in the water, these just fan out. I mean, way more than you can just imitate right here. But it just, the, the motion that they've got is crazy. It's, it reminds me a lot of like a skirt just on, you know, any jig. But being that it's so small and literally made of silk, it uh, it just has such a nice fluidity to it. It's, it's kind of crazy. So I'm going to pop this off here real quick. And we're going to try to rig it the other way, or at least a different way. It comes out just like that. All right, and uh, typically how you just saw, that is the way I was shown how to rig it. That's the way a lot of people are gonna rig it. However, you could do it vertically if you want to. Let's say you've got a, uh, a minnow presentation on there, or maybe you just wanna switch it up and instead of fanning outwards, you fan it front to back. So now, you're gonna have more of a, a full coverage like this when that baits in the water, rather than kind of more so uh, tails kind of off the back, almost like some spongy leg kind of things, you're going to have a little bit more kind of a full cover. So maybe that's going to present a little bit bigger, more kind of like a little hairy ball of, or a bug or something else, right? This was another one that we were catching them on this weekend. This is just a tiny little spoon. And again, rather than tipping that with a minnow or a wax worm or, or just nothing, horizontally strung on that silky, and that just gives a whole nother presentation. They don't even care about the spoon. They really came up and were pegging this, the hook in the, in the silky strands. They, they, I think the, maybe the uh, spoon helped get their attention a little bit, but overall they were coming right up here. They were sniffing this and then they were sucking that in right from the bottom. Well, there you have it, folks. There's a couple different ways to rig the Silky. If you've never tried it or you haven't tried a bait like it, definitely go check it out. I find mine at the local Cabela's. Um, like I said, they're about four or five bucks a pack for four, and I fished with one all weekend, 40, 50 fish, whatever it was, and, and that thing just kept hammering them, and it stayed right in the same spot the whole time. So go check them out. Definitely worth the investment if you want to catch some panfish, maybe even some perch this winter. Uh, hopefully in just a couple months, that ice is coming off the lakes, and we're getting back out in the kayak. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for checking out Joe Bob's channel here on YouTube, and we'll see you next time.